Hello, everyone. Bear with me one moment while I, whoopsies, while I get everything rocking and rolling here so I can see. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I'm hoping that you can see me. Hello, hello. Can you see me? I'm thinking you can. I'm hoping you can. Hello, everyone. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Robin. Hello, Shannon. Hello, Chow. Hello, Aaron. Hello, Carrie. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Maria. Hello, Pamela. Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. Oh, Christina, you came to the store today. I was a very, very busy bee. I'm sorry that I missed you. I am sorry that I missed you. Hello, Laurie. Hi, Scoozy. I love you, too. I saw your graduation pictures today. I saw your graduation pictures today. I'm so proud of you, Scoozy. So, so proud of you. Okay. All right. So I have my new lighting set up, and I hope that you can see me really, really bright and clear. Um, it's kind of like the same lighting that we had before, but I got these diffuser things, and it's a big part of why I was later this evening because I was trying to get all of that set up and ready to go. So I'm hoping you can see a lot better. Um, it should be a lot brighter. Um, we should be able to see colors a lot better. Um, we should be able to see uh, things. It should be much clearer. So um, hopefully it will uh, work for us. So tonight, um, uh, tonight, hello, Seal. Hello, everyone. So tonight we're going to get groovy as uh, as everything, uh, as the title suggests. Um, and by getting groovy, I don't know. I don't have a plan for tonight. I definitely want to use this stamp because this stamp has been screaming my name. Um, I love, love, love this stamp. Uh, I just think the stamp is so cool. I also am thinking about kind of incorporating potentially one of these uh, backer cards as well. I was kind of thinking like if this, I don't know. Let's take a look here. I was kind of thinking... It would be kind of cool if this van was kind of in the foreground here. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know yet. And then I also wanted to do... I just have so many ideas tonight. <laughs> I have too many ideas. Way too many ideas. So, I mean, or we could do... We could also do like an ATC with this. So many, so many ideas. And I also wanted to use the new size of our uh, tissue tape. The new size of our tissue tape. Okay. Night, night, Scoozy. Love you. Um, I'm thinking, because I really want to use the new... Um, ah, they should be coming in soon. Hopefully soon. Uh, we're itching for them to come in too. Believe me. We have lots of orders, lots and lots of orders waiting for them. So, hello, Kara. I thought you weren't going to make it, my love. You made it. So, I really want to use this new tape because, remember, we were talking about doing... Sorry, I had to pull this up. But use this. As, oh, you can see this so much better with the new lighting. Ooh-wee. Um, okay, wait a second. Is this... Oh, no, this is the... That's the wrong one. Hold on. I know I have more of that. So thinking about doing this in the... Chris, can I tell you how much fun your last time? Oh, thank you, Maria. Well, I can tell you that I spoke to... I spoke to some of my dear friends in this crazy industry that we call papercraft. And I have, like, our next five folks, uh, next five folks that are going to join us. So 
I'm really, really super excited about that. I need a break after another thing. Oh, well, there you go, Kara. Um, I have like our next five folks that are going to join us lined up. So I'm really excited. But I'm not going to tell you ahead of time. It's just going to be, I can tell you I don't have one tonight. <laughs> so if you came here tonight to see someone, uh, to hang out with someone other than me, it's just, um, it's just me tonight. <laughs> um, my sister actually, Heather, is working on um, working on a really cool project tonight for one of the employees of Brutus and Row. It is his birthday tomorrow, so she's getting that ready for him. Um, oh, Penny, you saw something. I'm not going to show that tonight. I think I'm going to show that tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be very spontaneous. I mean, it's going to be pre-planned on my part in the fact of I know who it is, but we're not going to like predetermine a script. We're not going to predetermine what we're going to talk about. It's going to be all very loosey-goosey. So I think I'm going to use this paper pad too. All right. So let's start from let's start from the base down. So let me see here. So I'm thinking, yeah, and Michael's is next week. Yep. Oh, and also we might use the shimmer paste too. Oh, good, Christina. These are the four shimmer paste. I brought these today to use as well. We have, and I can show you, you're going to be able to see the colors really good now. So we have lilac. Oh, look how pretty. Lilac. Hello, Lynn. We have lilac. We have ocean. Oh, so pretty. Ocean. We have... Just everyday white. So pretty. Um, Michael does like to like to get cards. So if you guys want to send birthday cards, they would love that. Then last but not least, my favorite, which is denim. Oh, this is so pretty. So so pretty. So so pretty. All right, so let's see here. So what are we gonna do? Let's move these to the side. I might use those shimmering paste later. All right, so let's see. Do I want to use... Hmm. I might want to use... Um, yes, the, um, the... I believe... Is it the denim? No, it's Shane's birthday tomorrow. Is it the denim or the... It might be the ocean that's in the box. I cannot remember. Is anybody from the Brutus and Road team here? Well, I know there's people from the Brutus and Road team here. But um, is anybody from the Brutus or team, Monroe team that's here? Remember what color is in the box? I don't think it's denoted on the website. No, Shane is turning 25, and he is um, he's having a nervous breakdown, and I think it's hilarious. <laughs> um, hmm, let's see, because I really want to use... Hmm, I think that one matches really well, huh? I think it is the purple. Yeah. Lilac is in the box. I'm pretty sure lilac. Oh, yeah, lilac. Lilac is in the box. So the ones that are not in the box are uh, sh 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 white, denim, and ocean. And these are really pretty together. Lilac. Okay, perfect. Yes, tomorrow is Shane's birthday. We'll post a happy birthday probably on the Instagram. And you'll be able to say happy birthday. All right, let's see here. So, oh, and remember, there's a free gift today, too. What is that free gift? Oh, it is a embossing folder. And that's with any order. You can order uh, whatever you want. So I'm just going to look at how much better. See, look at the, oh, yeah, this is what we needed. Look at how much better the reds look because of the new lighting. See, this looks so much better than it did the other day. Remember how hard it was to see these colors? This looks so much better now with the new lighting. Yes, this paper just came in. We don't have much of this paper left. We or, I ordered more of it. We don't have much of this tie-dye paper left, but I did order more of it. So I think we'll go with this one here. Okay, so let's see here. So let me let me get my act together here. I love the new lighting. It makes me. I mean, it makes me feel like real official, like real, real official. Oh my goodness, if you guys. Brutus Monroe, the Brutus Monroe building is in complete shambles right now. We, it was an all hands on deck day to say the least. Do you guys want to hear about the craziness of Brutus Monroe today while I'm fixing to get all this stuff together? 
So first of all, let me tell you what I'm going to do before I get to rambling on. So we have the, oops, oh my goodness, I'm dropping things. So we have the, um, so we have, you need some more. I know I need to, Penny. I just remembered. I just remembered. Actually, Heather Collins, if you are on the, um, if you are uh, within earshot of adding a tag, if you can just add uh, inside, inspir inside inspiration like we talked about today to the lilac, um, that'll fix it. Yeah, well, I'll t I'm going to explain to everybody the madness of what happened today. So first and foremost, I'm going to cut this guy down right here. Um, we already, um, we've already looked into replacements, Robin. Um, this is actually one of the replacements, and it's just as great. It is a little bit more expensive, unfortunately, because it is something that we have to get a lot of, and we have to have it made. But um, it's, it's, it's. I think we're going to be able to get more on the roll, if that makes sense. Um, so this is the, um, oh my goodness gracious, things are happening. Hello, Maria. So this is the key lime paper. You can really see the color now. And then this is a piece of the cardstock from Totally Tie-Dye, the 6 by 6 inch paper collection. Um, I will not be using the new slim line paper pad tonight. I'll probably be using that tomorrow. I actually don't have it to show you. I forgot to bring it home. But um, I can tell you that it is, we added it to the website, oh goodness, probably about an hour ago, and it's half gone. So I d don't worry, I did, um, I did send an email to our manufacturer, and I ordered double. So we should be, we should be okay for a minute, hopefully for a minute. Um, no, the tie-dye paper is not sold out yet. I don't think, is it sold out? That's a look on the website. Is it sold out? I don't think it's sold out. Um, but yeah, the slimline paper, uh, I didn't have, I forgot to bring it out. But the slimline paper, you wait till you see how much you get with the slimline paper. Well, you get 24 sheets. But it's all the colors you get are what I'm super excited about. But I'll be showing you that uh, most likely tomorrow. It's not sold out. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, thank you, Heather. All right. And then I'm using a piece of paper, like I said, from the Totally Tie-Dye. So, as I told uh, most of you guys before, we are taking over our total building at Bruce Monroe is, um, well, we started with about 12,000 square feet is what we started with at Bruce Monroe. And that was the studio store and our offices and the fulfillment and, and warehouse. We added on next door to us, we're cutting this down to four and a quarter, so right down the middle. Right next door to us, there used to be a nail salon. That nail salon has moved. They moved, I think, last October. Oh, I don't know the exact. They moved, and our building was connected, but it wasn't really connected. We shared a wall, a very thick wall, a 16-inch wall. Ask me how I know. Um, a 16-inch wall between us, and uh, we, when they left, we took over that building. So when we took over that building, we actually uh, hired a contractor and that contractor busted through the wall. And now we have that side as well. So we now have an entrance into that side. And that was right around when we got Mini Monroe because it is called the Mini Monroe Art Studio. So now, <clears throat> because we we're at about every six months, yeah, we're on a six month plan. We are now taking over the entire lower level of our building. The, the lower level of our building is about 6,000 square feet. So today, um, the tenant that was down there is moving out slowly but surely. Slow and steady wins the race. But we decided today that we needed to start moving stuff down there because we are completely out of room. And when I say completely out of room, I mean if someone were to sneeze right now at Brutus Monroe, the building would probably buckle. <laughs> it is great for birthday parties. And I'm hoping we're going to have Scoozy and Mini Scoozy's birthday party th there this year because we can actually get to the party room without going outside. Um, so with that being said, if you were to sneeze at Bruce Monroe, now the store, the store is not at capacity. But if you were to sneeze anywhere else in the building, the building would explode. Just, just poof, explode. So... With that being said, we had to figure out what was the next step, the next evolution, step in the evolution of Brutus Renault. So what that next step was is 
taking over the lower level of our building. So we took over the lower level of our building. And with taking over the lower level of our building, we needed to start moving stuff down there. So not only did we move stuff downstairs today, but we also had two enormous deliveries. <laughs> enormous deliveries. So we, and I must say, I have the greatest team in the world. I, I mean, the greatest team in the world. Beyond the greatest team in the world. We got, we all banded together. I mean, there's how many of us? Um, how many of us were there today? Seven? Wait. One, two, three. Yeah, so, no, eight. Eight of us. I think eight of us today. Um, and so I can tell you officially that officially with the size of the building, um, now with the new space downstairs, you get winded <laughs> going from one part of the building on the lower level. So now we have three levels at Brutus Renault. We have the ground level, which is where all of our subscription services will be. That's where my office will be. Um, that's also where uh, we will have um, like the loading dock and things like that. Then level two, which is the street level, is where uh, the studio store is. That's also where the Mini Monroe studio is. Um, or the mini, or the studio store. Yeah, the Mini Monroe studio. All of the fulfillment, um, the kitchen, and uh, what else is there? Courtney's office, Lisa's office, Shane's office. And then the third floor, um, which is the craziest thing in the world that I'm saying, the third floor of Brutus Monroe um, is... The uh, is the office offices. So that's where Heather's office is. That's soon where uh, Michael's office will be. Michael's getting his own office. Um, and uh, that will be on the second level. Then we also have a whole bunch of other stuff on the second level. We have um, some decor. Some, the second level is, is a pretty big level too. Um, but yeah. So then um, also I just had a meeting with our building owner uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday, Heather Collins? Yesterday? Um, yeah, there was a studio up there. Uh, and I'm just going to cut this down to four by four by three and a quarter. No, five and a quarter by four to put on here. Um, so when I had another meeting with our uh, building manager or owner yesterday, because I think we're going to be taking over and our little pretzel, yes. I think we're going to be taking over um, the lower level of the building next door. And hear me out before you think I'm like Kukaracha. Um, we need we need an entire laser and marketing suite. So the laser and marketing suite is probably going to be in building two of Brutus Monroe. That sounds even crazier. So potentially building two. So we're going to have um, level one, level two, level three of Brutus Widow, and then building two. Is this more of a low-key video? I know you had Simon join you last time. Um, low-key as in what, Amy? Um, I mean, I, I'm not going to be – I'm not going to be tap dancing. So if you came here for tap dancing – I won't be doing that. So, yes, it will be low-key. <laughs> I won't be doing any tap dancing tonight. Um, so that it's going to it's gonna be pretty low-key. Uh, but um, we're just going to – we're going to be kind of loosey-goosey, and we're just going to kind of make stuff. And, yeah. So I'd say it's pretty – yeah, pretty low-key. Uh, so, yeah. So we are possibly taking over I, – I, I don't know yet. It's – it's still up in the air because we're trying to figure out um, – I love this new tape. Um, we're trying to figure out what is going to be the best case uh, best case scenario for us. Thank you, Seal. Best case scenario because um, the buildings aren't connected. And the, really, you know, within the next five years, my goal is to have the upper level, um, the upper level of the – the building next door, because it's really, really cool. The upper level of our building next door, or, or the building next door is really, really cool, um, which is where basically our executive, right, Georgia? Uh, the executive offices of Brutus Renner will be, which will basically be the entire core staff, 
which is uh which is the um whoops the original staff, I guess you could say. So like Shane, Michael, myself, Heather, Courtney, Lisa. Um, essentially what will happen, thank you, Liz. Essentially what will happen is the executive offices will be over in the building next door, so the upstairs. Sure is, Kim, every day. Uh, so um, we're not kicking out the Electrical Workers Union Hall yet. They're still, we're letting them stay a little bit longer. We're also letting the pizza shop stay because... Uh, I love I'm new to your products. I love I do not I do not tap dance Diane. I do not. Um, so uh, we're keeping them for now. It's and the pizza shop because the pizza is delicious. Um, it's funny because the owner of the pizza shop he said to me, Tyler, we've become good friends. He said, uh, Christopher, can you just let me know when you want my part of the building? I said, I'm not I'm not not interested in your part of the building. I want you to stay there all the time. Miss Minnie is is crazy, but she's very, very good. Very, very good. Um, so uh, the upper level, and I, I can maybe show you guys like that. I don't know. I could show you guys uh, at some point maybe a, um, a sneak peek of that space over there. That space is enormous. It's It would be incredible because we'd be able to have our customer service over there. So just remember right now, if like next year I'm telling you, all right, we just took over the upper level of next door. Say, Christopher, I remember you being telling us you are you are cuckoo and you're going to take over that top level. Um, we, we could very well be there next year. So, um, and it's beautiful over there. So basically it would be, uh, essentially it would be a situation where the staff, we would have additional staff. The additional staff would, um, work still over on the Brutus Monroe in the Brutus Monroe building one, the, the original building. And then building two would be, uh, where like the executive staff works. Obviously the executive staff, as I'm calling them, which is like our original staff would still, you know, kind of float between both buildings. Uh, but, Building two is where uh, the original staff would spend most of their time in the new offices. Um, what we really, really would love to um, would really, really love to have a skywalk is what we've been talking about. How's the phase one and phase two reopening thing going up here? Um, it's going fantastically. We actually had three phases. Um, uh, yes, it would be the space above the yoga studio. Studio, Aaron. Um, phase one and phase two is doing great. We're actually in like phase three right now. And I believe, stop me if I'm wrong, um, Maria, because Maria is my resident health expert. I think today was the second day that there have been no new cases reported. Is that correct, Maria? I think that I think so. But the really cool thing is, and this is this is still very premature, very, very premature, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping to say that eventually um, I would like to eventually I would like to have the create your own ending event at the store. That's my goal. Um, with our new lower level that we're taking over, um, it probably would be a smaller event, uh, probably about like 30 people instead of I think 45 we have this year. Uh, but I'd like to have it at the store. That's my goal is I really, really would like to have it at the store. Um, where we would try to be tr kind of trying to be working with a, um, trying to be working with, trying to work with like a, a hotel that's kind of closer that would kind of go back and forth. Um, or you could just come to the store if you are local. We're trying to figure that out. That's my dream to have it at the store because we have so much more control at the store. Um, meaning that we could, you know, we could figure out like the food. It just makes it so much easier if it's at the store. Because like if we forget something, goodness forbid if we forgot something. Um, no, not in our whole state. It's um, in Allegheny County. Right, Maria? I think it's Allegheny County. Um I think so. I think, I, I don't know. I can't remember. I think I saw something. Uh, but yeah, Pennsylvania is doing really, really, really good right now. Our governor has, has been, do, I mean, he's been doing a really, really good job. A lot of people don't really like him, but I'll tell you, he's, he's, he did the right thing. He did the right thing. I mean, I know that there's probably some in our state, but our state, uh, Pennsylvania is a big state. Yeah. So six months plan. Yeah. 
we'd be looking at. Well, I think within the yeah, knock on wood. I think within the I think within the six month plan, um, we are. I'm located. Well, we're located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, the six month plan will probably put us in the lower level of the building next door as well. Was reference all over. Oh, a layover in Chicago is not bad, Belinda. I think you did the right thing, too. I mean, we're safe, right? We're safe. I saw that. Shannon. Yeah, Pittsburgh's doing great. But, yeah, so hopefully hopefully we'll have the Creature and Ending event at the store next year because we'll have the whole lower level. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's people that are going to badmouth every governor, and they're going to be, you know, hoity-toity, blah, blah, blah. But I'll tell you right now, I feel... I feel very, I feel much more comfortable, you know, with everything that our governor did. I really do. I mean, it was a lot at the beginning, but I'll tell you right now, I, we cannot do, um, we can't shut down again. Cause I barely did. Well, I made it just fine to Rob almost didn't make it. <laughs> Rob almost didn't make it through the first quarantine when we were stuck in this house together. <laughs> So I, I they're just we can't be we can't be quarantined again. It just it just ain't gonna work out. <laughs> so shopping, what is the size of the rainbow and peace sign die? Awesome seal. It is this size. So if you see my big crafty, my big man crafty hands, I've never really had a problem with layovers in Chicago. I've only had like two of them though. So this is, uh, I don't know, oh, do I not have a ruler? Let me see. Here, let's put them on the Misty. Let's put them on the Misty, shall we? Oh, yeah. Well, I've heard that, um, I heard that New York's doing much, much better. Yeah, not enough hand sanitizer. Oh, don't worry. We have enough hand sanitizer for the, for the rest of our lives because of Rob getting them everywhere. So it's about three, I'd say about three and a half by three and a half seal, as you can see there. It must have been a long time since I've had a Chicago layover. <laughs> it must have been a long time. And then this one I know is bigger. Oh, put them on a card front. Good thinking. Okay. They're pretty big. They fill up a card front pretty well. Oh, delays. Well, at least it's on the way home. So there you go, Seal. It's pretty big. This one. Isn't it? That's what I think is really cool about it, Shannon. It's very different. It is very, very elegant. Very, very elegant. And then here's the peace sign. And I love the peace sign because I'll show you very quickly. The peace sign is really, really cool because, oh my goodness, we we only have 10. We only have 10 free gifts now. We only have 10 free gifts left. Oh my goodness. How did that happen? Um, okay. So... What's really cool about it is that this, see this seal, these stripes, you can put colors in there. That's why I designed it that way. And the rainbow fits inside of there. It's going great, Carolyn. I have not, uh, I have not, ooh, how long has it been? It has been, oh, goodness gracious, three and a half weeks. Uh, $16.99, Diane. Yeah, I think three and a half weeks. <clears throat> it's been going really good. Really, really good. <clears throat> I mean, it's still hard. It's not, I mean, it's not great. <laughs> it's not fantastic. Um, some days are much, much, much easier than others. Um, but it's, um, it doesn't, it doesn't suck as much. Thanks, Kim. Yeah, it's been, I think, three, yeah, three and a half weeks. So it's not as bad as it was, I guess I can say. Um, I mean, it's it's still not like super, super easy. But I can tell you that I do not wake up anymore. My biggest thing was I was waking up. Um, <clears throat> I was waking up and like immediately still wanting like that nicotine fix like as soon as I woke up. Luckily, <clears throat> I do not. Um, I don't have that anymore. It's really weird. It, like, all of a sudden, like, went away one day, which is awesome. Um, but, again, it's uh, it comes and it goes. But I do, I feel a, a million times better. A million times better than, than I did. But thank you for asking. Yeah. 
I feel great. I, I could tell you that I feel a million times better. Like my energy levels are, are so much, high. it's just, it's, it's weird. I mean, you know, I didn't think that it was gonna, I didn't think that it was going to have as much of an impact as it did because you don't think about that kind of stuff, but, um, it certainly did have quite, quite an impact. Okay. So I'm going to grab some purple tape and I'm going to tape this guy down here. Let me move these things out of the way so you can see what I'm up to. So I'm going to tape this guy down because I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp out. Thank you, Tisha. I'm going to stamp out the stamp out our little bug here. And remember, this is um, this guy. So the way this, this stamp works, I want to show you. It has this opening in it. Do you see that opening? And that opening will fit your sentiments. Okay, so if you want to do your sentiments at the same time, you can. I think we're going to use some of these really cool little icons on ours. So let's see. Let's see where the where the wind takes us. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pop this down. And I did learn my lesson. Um, yes, I feel I do. I feel a lot. I do feel a lot better. I mean, I didn't at the beginning. I tell you that much. I was miserable. Okay, there we go. So we're going to pop this down. Oh, no, I did not. I did not have it. Nope, nope, nope. I, I quit smoking, Diane. I quit smoking. I, I quit smoking. And it's been three and a half weeks. So everyone was just asking how I was doing. I'm doing great. I did quit, Sherry. Yep. Okay. Oh, I just look at that. Isn't that just the cutest thing? Um, hmm. Michael loves every color. I mean, he loves really loves rainbow. Um, just like pretty much everybody else at Producer Now. Um, and he but I can tell you his favorite thing in this whole entire world, whole entire world, is Halloween. So his birthday is the 29th, I believe. Am I is that correct? Um so if he loves, oh, there we go. How did I just say? He loves Halloween. Loves Halloween. So if you make him anything Halloween, uh, he will love you forever. I can promise you that. All right, look at this. <laughs> I just love this. Twenty-seven. That's it. Twenty-seven. Look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness! I love this so much. All right, so hold on. Let me go ahead and clean this guy off here. Okay. So let's see here. Oh, and I can't wait for you guys to see next month's Inspiration Box. I could talk about the next month now because this month was gone so long. So I hope you love little, little garden mice. Uh, he did. He didn't get engaged. I don't think he got. Did he get engaged on Halloween? He got engaged at the haunted house. But I hope you love little, little garden mice, because or I just hope you love. I hope you love mice and flowers because it's it's the cutest little inspiration box ever. Next month, I can't wait for you to see it. I can't wait for you to see it. Oh, that's okay, Belinda. They don't have to be Brutus Monroe. You don't have to make a stuff that have Brutus, that just has Brutus Monroe on it. We absolutely know that there are other companies out there, and we love them. We absolutely love them. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see. What are we going to do? Okay, so I definitely, I think I want to add some. Let me not get it. Christopher, don't get ahead of yourself. Stop. Settle down. I really want to do, it might have been, uh, I don't think it was Halloween. It was before Halloween, I think. I don't know. I think it was before Halloween. We might be doing some sequins tonight, but I'm not 100% certain. Okay. I used the beach chair. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oops, I forgot. They do play nice with others. Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I can't wait. We just got... They'll be actually. I think they'll be here tomorrow. We got the pins. We got the pins for the Halloween box. Can you believe it? The pins for the Halloween box. Isn't that the craziest thing you ever did here? Already here. Already arrived. Well, no, I think they'll be here tomorrow. 
Uh, but isn't that just the craziest thing you ever did here? They're here. Okay, so let's see here. So I think I'm going to use some yellows, some greens. Right. Do you send cards? I do. I send. My sister sends more cards than I do. Um, most of my cards that I do uh, end up going, and I'm just going to test these colors on the side here. I think that's a good one. Uh, most of the cards that I do, uh, they begin shipping tomorrow, Jen. They will go out in two waves. Um, so I did, Carolyn. I did, I did. Uh, it was actually a separate video. It wasn't on this one. I did a completely separate video. Um, I think it went live earlier this, I think it went live this afternoon, actually. Um, what was it? What was I saying now? Oh, the, uh, yeah. So the, um, I'm using alcohol markers because I'm using the perfect blend paper, which we just got back in stock. We just got perfect blend paper back in stock and we got, uh, we got perfect blend and we got the not your mama's back. Yeah. I decided to do it as a, I have not been there, Deneen. I, um, what is the storage sale? Absolutely. Please talk about it, Nikki. Oh my goodness, Maria, my sister. So let me tell you a funny story about my sister. So my sister today, she decides she's going to do something real nice for Shane, um, for his birthday. And Shane also loves rainbows. There's not someone, I, I don't think there's anybody that doesn't love rainbows at British Monroe. So the, um, I'm much, I'm very excited. I think I might do one um live actually on his ipad all the time oh i love that um so the great thing about uh british Renault is we have all sorts of different products obviously so my sister said today it was just me and my sister have really really great uh conversations um at the end of the day at bruce Renault because she's her and i are always the last ones there so we're sitting there and she's doing all sorts of different wood pieces because we're we're updating the wood wall. Um, yes, we have a whole wall of wood pieces of Brutus Monroe. We were updating the wood wall and she goes, I really want to make something nice for Shane for his birthday. So she's literally naming every single thing that we have at Brutus Monroe. I mean, everything that we have. And I was like, well, you know, you have to do it in one day. I was like, it's going to be, you know, you have to figure out something that makes sense. So she's going over everything. I mean, literally everything. She was going to make a wreath. She was going to do this. She was going to do that. So then <clears throat> I'm walking over by the Ollie stuff. And I think you guys are pretty familiar with the Ollie stuff that we now carry at Brutus Monroe. And I was like, why don't you do one of these diamond paintings um, from Ollie? And uh, she was like, oh, she was like, well, she was like, what? Does he like llamas? Does he like? And I was like, well, all of them have a rainbow. So he'll love any of them. He'll love, I mean, he'll love everything. So she walks over and I was like, let's open one up. And, you know, if you don't decide to do it, um, and I think we can probably put a link up to all the Ollie stuff. I said, if you don't end up doing it, um, I'll buy it and maybe I'll do it for a video. So we open up. Now, mind you, these Ollie things, I think they reach out for what, $13.99, I think, are these diamond sets. Wait until you see the, my sister's finished one. It comes with a little frame. It comes with everything you need to make it. It comes with all of the diamonds. I mean, it is like the deal of the century. I couldn't believe how incredible, uh, how incredible this little set was. So I'm glad that we opened it because now I want one. <laughs> I mean, it's a really, 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 really good set. I mean, for that price point, I mean, it's only $13.99. It comes with a frame, for goodness sakes. So if you like one, and also the thing that I love about them too, is they have two different sizes of gems. Sorry if I'm if I'm boring you guys, but the all I mean with the Ollie with the Ollie talk. But it's just so cool. So now I'm just going in with a little bit of a deeper color. This is uh, bronze green. And remember, this is going to be, uh, these markers are the same markers as what um, we will have at Brutus Monroe. We, we are using the exact same manufacturer. I found the same manufacturer that does the Stoffel markers because I love them so much. And they are mark making our markers. 
With that being said, I don't know if you guys saw, but the um, I finished mine was fun, isn't it? So, oh, did you get so, did you get one, Kara? Do you love the um, do you love the the frame that it came with? What is the age range for the kits? Uh, has does it say does it say on your kit what the age range is? I'm not sure. I mean, it does have little pieces. I know that. But it has like two different sizes. I don't know. I just think it's the coolest thing. I couldn't believe. I just, I really couldn't get over 8 to 32 is what it says. Is that really what it says? Um, I just, I mean, it's just, it just is so cool. I was, I mean, I, it's, and it takes a lot to impress me in the craft industry now because I feel like I've seen it all. But when I opened up that package, I said, I, I mean, I guess I should have expected, I should have expected that from Ollie. Eight and up. Okay. I should have said, I should have um, expected that because Ollie is such an incredible brand. But I just was so impressed when I opened it. I just couldn't believe it. Okay, so I think what we'll do, we'll do the windows in this cool gray. Why is she that way to make me feel old? She didn't want you to get one, right? I mean, I'm 35. Am I allowed to have one? 8 to 58. I love that. I honestly, I just couldn't get over how, I couldn't get over how, um, how nice it was. I mean, I probably sounded like a crazy person today on Green Tree Road because I was hooting and hollering about this little diamond set. But I was like, I opened it and I was like, oh my goodness, this is such a good set. Again, I don't know what I expected. I love how well these markers are blending on this paper. Hold on, I'm going to go back with the lighter real quick. I mean, I just could not get over... If y'all haven't used this, uh, I'm using the style file markers. The style file markers, oh, that's what I was saying before. I get so distracted so easily when I see comments. Um, the style file markers right now, which are going to be the same manufacturer that are doing our markers, they're on sale right now, I think, for like $1.50. So go look at the last call section. Always look at the clearance section of Brutus Renault because there's, there's pretty much always stuff that's added in there. I don't know if there's any of these... Um, I don't know if there's any of these markers left, though. You might have to look. Explain what makes those papers so cool, please. Oh, so this paper is our perfect blend paper, and it is actually paper that was originally designed for a digital press. So the digital press um, is uh, something that needs it, – it's basically a, a digital printing press that needs super, super, super ultra smooth paper. I mean, we're talking like – the smoothest paper ever, but it also has to be able to hold a lot of color. It has to be able to hold a ton of, uh, a ton of, uh, I guess, whatever you throw at it. So your van needs a few dots. I love it. Um, so where did you show the box? Uh, Carolyn, it was a pre-recorded video on this channel. Um, it should already, it should be up. It should be up. It should uh, be up on the channel. It was launched this afternoon. I did it as a pre-recorded video because I didn't want to do it live because so many folks can't get the box now. So I didn't want everyone to be upset <laughs> if they couldn't get the box. But yeah, it's it's uh, Rainbow Unboxing, I think is what it's titled as. All right, so let's see here. So, um, da -dum -dum -dum. let's do some gray for the center of the hubcaps. Oh, you don't see it? Okay, I can double check. I'll double check. I thought it uploaded. Maybe it didn't. The problem is I don't really check. 
after I hit upload because sometimes it takes a while. Um, thank you, Diane. I'll have to take a look. I don't usually look because it takes so long for them to upload that I just hit upload and, and pray. <laughs> I hit upload and pray. Um, but, I mean, I could show it tomorrow. I could show it tomorrow. I'll bring one home tomorrow. I filmed it at the store. All right. So, for the hubcap, we'll use warm gray four. Uh, I can tell you, you're going to be very, very, very surprised with this box. There is so much stuff in this box. Oh, no. I might have put it on my other channel. Good night, Jerry. Good night, good night. I might have put it on my other channel now that I think about it. I'll have to double check. I can re-upload it, though. No biggie. No biggie. Do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see a sneak peek? Maybe a sneak peek of next month's box. No, I probably shouldn't show you. I probably shouldn't show you. I probably shouldn't. I probably shouldn't. Oh, not on Brutus or no. Probably on. It's probably on. I have a Christopher Allen channel too that I never upload anything to. But a lot of the times things accidentally get put on there. I can show you the pin. Do you want to see the pin from next month's box? That's what I can show you. I will show you the pin. Just because the pin is so cute that I could pass out. I uh, when I saw the when I saw the pin, I said, "You have got to be kidding me!" I was so excited. Are you ready? Just to show you real quick. Isn't that the cutest thing you ever saw in your life? Okay, that's it. That's all I can show you. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it so much. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, the box the box theme is um it's all about flowers. It's uh, I think it's called the the flowering mouse. I think I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's all about flowers and little mice. So we've never done a mouse box, and everybody seems to love. I mean, it, they don't look like the house mouse stamps because um, uh, obviously we wanted to do something very different. But uh, yeah, they look like um, they they're little they're cute the cutest little mice. And flowers. Wait until you see the die set in next one's box. I think you get six dies in the next box. I want to say it's six. I can't remember. Copic coloring will. It, this paper will change your life. I really hope you guys get a chance to try out this paper. But I would say to de definitely make sure, definitely make sure that you are. Either signed, oh, you can't sign up right now, sorry. Um, that you're ready <laughs> for the first next month. Because that box, ooh, yeah, I think you, I'm pretty sure you get six dies. Oh, and also, I almost, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm using Copics. I'm literally, it works with every single, I think it works with every marker that I have. Um, just so you know, and this is just, just as a heads up to you guys, um, we, I believe there are, Three spots opened up this month for the full year, um, which means it would go from now until next June. So just as a heads up, I can actually, I think I could post, let me see if I could post that. Um, so the reason that they open up, because we get lots of questions about the full year inspiration boxes, because the full year inspiration boxes gives you an entire full, an entire full year of inspiration boxes, but it also gives you a, uh, it also gives you the shipping on it. Uh, I can't wait. And they're like, they're stackable. I can't tell you what it is. But it's, they're like stackable. Guys. I don't know. I can't, I can't tell you. Um, but yeah, the full year, we have three of them that just opened up. And uh, it's because what happens is if someone doesn't renew it, 
and actually we had two people that didn't uh that did not renew it um because they actually two of them moved out of the country um uh i do have one yep Two of them moved out of the country, and unfortunately, one of them passed away. Um, so they didn't renew their full year. So with that being said, we now have three full year inspiration boxes available. Um, I actually just put them live on. I just put them live on the website. So if you want to get in on the full year, you absolutely can. But there are only only three available. Oh, you found a penny. Does it say it's in stock? Does it say it's in stock? I hope it says it's in stock. Uh, but yeah, one of our members passed away. She lived the most wonderful life ever. She was 92. Um, and yes, yeah, she passed away. Uh, and her daughter was so sweet. She was like, I'd like to keep it going. She said, I'd like to keep it going because I really want... Um, she said, because I really, really would like to still get it. She said, but I just don't think that I'll use it. Uh, but yeah, the other two, one moved to Canada. But for us to have a, the year, you can renew for another year, Belinda, yes. But you will have to make sure, um, you will have to make sure that you reach out to, uh, to Heather because you are grandfathered in. You are grandfathered in. So if you are grandfathered in, meaning you already purchased a full year before, you can renew at any time. Renew at any time. Uh, what do you get for the full year? So for the full year, Deneen, you get 12 boxes, and that includes shipping. Also, if you get the full year, at one point during your full year, you will get a special little coupon uh, that comes to your email, and then I think another special little gift you get at some point within your full year. Um, and that just started with the full years in the last round. So you'll see you'll get some... Um, What's the problem with shipping it outside the country? Uh, it's because of the, unfortunately, it's because of all of the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? There's a whole bunch of different fees and duties and stuff like that. Uh, and unfortunately, right now in the day and age of all of the madness that is going on uh, in the world with um, obviously the the virus and stuff like that, it's like 10,000 times uh more difficult to get things in and out of the country, unfortunately. Yes, you'll get secret bonus perks, and you, you'll get them. It's not all at the same time, so you'll see that they'll come in. And um, Oh, and we have one of those foil things left, I just, um, I just noticed as well. We have one of those. We have one of those. I don't know who. Maria, did you get that foil set? I don't know. I'm I don't know if Maria got it or not. I didn't see a pickup though. I know Maria loves foil, but I don't know if she got that full set. I know she loves her some foil though. <laughs> but when I don't see a pickup, sometimes I. When will the embossing ink be available? Very soon, Tisha. The reinkers just came in, um, but the inks have not come in yet, unfortunately. I have a feeling they will. Oh, Janet. Um, yeah, Heather can send you over an invoice. Heather can send you over an invoice. All right, so let's see here. Oh, did you did you get the full collection, Maria? I wasn't sure. I didn't see I didn't see a store pickup. I thought maybe you did. <laughs> I thought maybe you did. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see. All right. Ooh, wait until you see the holiday box this year. I can't wait for you guys to see the holiday box this year. <laughs> I can't tell you anything about it. But wait until you see the holiday box. Wait until you see 
the Halloween box. Would the Groovy box have been in the full year? No, Janine, it is a separate purchase. It is a separate purchase. There are four boxes a year that are a separate purchase. And this year, um, there's going to actually be, I believe there's going to be five boxes this year. Because we're going to do a very special back-to-school box. A very special back-to-school box. Which is for teachers and... <laughs> For uh, for teachers or students, there's going to be all sorts of really fun stuff in it. So I can't wait for you to see that. I can't wait for you to see the pen for that. We just got it. Um, hello, Don. Uh, the holiday box. Heather Collins knows that better than I. When those start going for sale, I know that the back to school one will be mid um mid July. I think it'll start. It'll start shipping mid July. I want to say the holiday box usually comes out in October. Oh, good, Maria. Well, there, there are some really cool, um, really, really cool back-to-school things. All right. So let's pop that back on there. Pop that on there because we are going to use the sentiment. Oh, that is a good idea. The emergency stamps. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I think it's usually October, right, Kara? Yeah, I think it's October. All right. Oh, my goodness. Look at how fun that bus turned out. Okay, so let's see. Hold on. Stop everything. Stop the presses. All right, so let's see. Oh, I think that's going to match perfectly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so. Oh, no. What did I do with the. Oh, here it is. So I think we need, we're going to need something to kind of ground this bus. So, hmm. Do I want to use a die? I don't know if I want to use a die or not. Oh, wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. All right. So let's use this die to ground it, but we'll do it out of vellum. And then this can go behind the bus. Oh, I love that idea. Okay. I still haven't used up everything. Oh, wait until you see. Because we, we started working with um we started working with new suppliers for things. I just I can't wait for you to see what we have up our sleeves. I mean, I'll tell you, Michael has pulled out all of the stops. All of the stops this year. He by him going to CHA, which is the, the big conference. Uh, this year, he went, you know, at the very beginning of this year, he found some really, really incredible suppliers and, and vendors and things like that. And I'm just, it's so, so exciting. The things that, um, the things that are happening this year. All right. So let's grab our die cutting machine. Okay. Pop our peace sign. I know. I'm going to try to go. There's a lot of drama right now with it, though. I'm going to try to go this year, but there's a whole lot of drama. I know we do. There's a whole lot of drama. Oh, I love that, Robin. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm using... I should have I should have explained. I'm using the Brutus Monroe heat-resistant vellum. Hello, Heather Collins. <laughs> she said hello. Hello. Welcome back in September. Okay. September. Okay, so then probably in August is Halloween. Oh, yep, there we go. Halloween is August. It's all making sense now. Okay, so I am using, um, as I said, the vellum. And look at what this does. Even if you just want to use this as a... Just use this as a circle, too. I was in line behind you at CHA a year before last. Oh, you were! Shannon, did you say hi? Did you say hi? I'm sorry if you said hi, and I completely forget. It's CHA is a maddening whirlwind. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Look at how cool that is. Oh, now that is the coolest thing. Oh, thank you, Shannon. I am obsessed with people. 
Um, and that's probably <laughs> that's probably what I was up to. I love probably because did they have my last name wrong? Did they have my last name wrong? I think they, they did. They have my last name wrong last year. Oh well, thank you, Shannon. That's the sweetest thing. Um, was it because they had my last name wrong? <laughs> that might have been it. Oh, you ordered it sealed. Look at how cool. I just think that's that's going to be so cool in the background of that. Let's see, because I just think that'll be right in the center there. Yeah, I think that'll be so cool. Okay, so let's see here. So let's see. Let's see. So let me grab. Okay, you guys. It's I have a sad. I have a sad, sad thing to announce. These scissors, our favorite scissors, are being retired. They are sold out right now. I'm hoping. Um, I'm hoping at some point that we can get them back. Unfortunately, the factory that made them for us did not make it through. Did not make it through the virus. Not meaning like people did not. Um, yeah, I saw them. Thank you, Heather. Um, did not meaning that like people did not. Uh, people did not make it through. Um, but it was just the. It did not make it through with the. So. I'm going to double check because I think I have a case of them actually in the back of my car. Uh, so if I have a case of them in the back of my car, um, we will still have some available. But love you too, Kara. Uh, but don't worry, I am redoing them. So there's going to be, it's just going to be a new and improved version. Okay. But yeah, these unfortunately are retired. They. Oh, was she Tisha? Yeah, I, I can tell because we sold through the last case of them in like 30 seconds. <laughs> so they're retired for um they're retired for right now, but uh we're gonna have a new and improved version coming out. Yeah, unfortunately they sold um much quicker than we thought. But yeah, we're just, don't worry, they're not retiring, like, meaning, like, they're, we're never going to have scissors again. We're going to come out with a new and improved version. Um, but yeah, if you do have these ones, if you do have the original set of the Fussy Cut and Scissors, um, they're just, they're just going to be something, they're just a collector's item now, <laughs> I guess I should say. They're just a collector's item. All right, so I'm going to go around and I'm just going to quickly... Fussy cut out this little little van here. I just love this. I just think it's so cute. That's gonna be perfect. They're I like them because well they're nice and they're also very very sharp. Is what I love about them. I hope so, Maria, because I want them to do the fussy cutting for me. I can tell you that much. You know what I was just thinking? And anytime that I say this at Brutus Monroe at our offices, everyone says, oh, no. <laughs> everyone says, oh, oh, no. Why was he thinking again? Um, the You know what I was just thinking? I was just thinking how cool it would be. If we cut this guy out of um, if we cut this guy out of gold, hmm, and like made it look like a um, oh, glossy accents would be great on that window. The windows, I don't have any here though. Um, it would look like a gold medallion. I just think that'd be so cool. All right, so. I'm not going to put any sentiment on here. I'm going to put the sentiment inside because uh, I think that'll be super fun. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to leave this little emblem right up here because I kind of want it to weevil wobble because I think that'll be cool. I'm going to grab. Um, what did he say? Do I want to use? I don't think I want to use. I don't think I want to. Use, yeah, we'll use tape. Oh, the green or blue marmite paper would be beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some of the tape adhesive here. Again, this is the new tape adhesive. We're going to do a fun little thing on the inside of the card, so stay tuned. 
Remember, I always use the Bruce Renault uh, decorative detail grabber. I love how it sparkles in this new light. Uh, to pop off the back of my tape, it makes it super easy. Oh, prism paper. Now you guys are giving me a million ideas. You mean, you're, this is going to look really crazy in this new lighting. You mean this prism paper? <laughs> I love this prism paper. Oh, this new lighting really makes it, uh, I know the voodoo tool. This, this lighting changes everything, doesn't it? It is, the mermaid paper is definitely on SOS status. 100% on SOS status, yes. Which is, or it's just SOS, sell out status. So if you want any of that mermaid skin, or if you love that mermaid skin, which um, the mermaid skin looks like, I did have some here, like this. This will look really cool under this new lighting too. This mermaid skin paper is almost gone. Um, I kind of like it, Amy, like this because it's vellum. I don't want it to be a focal point. I kind of want the peace sign to just kind of like, I want it to be like an afterthought, if that makes sense. I kind of want the peace sign to be like almost like a, um, there we go. I kind of like how it pops up like that. I like how it's like kind of just like, I don't know. There's something really fun about that. I don't know why that's so fun. I don't know why I love that so much. I just think it's so different and so unique. Oh, I guess, um, no, I'm not going to use this for Shane's card. I have a different, I have a different card for him. I'm doing, a, yeah, like almost like a watermark. I'm doing a rainbow card for him. And then I was going to add a couple of these sequins. So these sequins came from the boardwalk box or the, yeah, the boardwalk box. Let's look at how perfect these would work. Whoopsies. I mean, it's like almost like this was made for that. Look at those colors. Isn't that perfect? Love it. Love it, love it. Okay, so now... On the inside, we have to give it a little extra groovy touch to someone is going to receive this card. So the groovy touch is going to be, and I told you guys about this yesterday, to never, ever throw away these pieces, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just snip off, I'm going to snip off, the sequence is having a... Uh, wait until you see the next sequence. Wait until you see the next... Wait until you see the next everything. Did I mention that there's tie-dye ribbon in the um, rainbow box? <laughs> okay, sorry. Whoopsies. That was almost... Whew. Okay, yeah. Wait until you see the rainbow box. The rainbow box sequence will be available separately, too. All right, so let's just try to get an idea. A seal. Well, it's good. If you placed an order tonight, it very well could be in your order. I actually don't choose what orders they go in. I don't think Courtney does either. Courtney just tosses them into an order. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pop this off of here. All right. So what I did was I just took, I still love the shape sequence too. The bottle caps are going to be making a comeback, Tina. We actually are going to, I think we're doing, um, I'm not going to tell you about it, but I I can tell you that I think we're going to be doing a throwback Brutus Monroe box. I think it's going to be, I think it might be in January of next year, but it's a throwback box to all of the things, all of the things that uh, you guys have loved over the years from uh, Brutus Monroe for the past five years. Actually, we might do it in December. We might do it in December. Isn't isn't pretzel the sweetest thing? I call him every name but pretzel. No, I call him pierogi. I call him pizzelle. What did I call him yesterday? I called him pasta vajol. Everything I call him everything. 
Uh, the Rainbow Box was already released seal. It sold out in record time. Um, and unfortunately, there aren't any left. But you can purchase almost everything from it separately. All right, so I'm just going to pop this off. Pork chop. Yeah, everything else. All right, so we're going to peel this off. I'm going to take this rainbow, this beautiful rainbow foil. See how beautiful that is? Place it right down on here. This is what Simon showed us last night, remember? Now, remember, this is the one technique you absolutely must remember. Do not promise me, promise me that you won't. Do not take this and you don't want to do that. What you can do if you want to is you could take, you know, like a, whoopsies. You can take a, um, like a piece of microfiber cloth, a piece of felt, something like that. You can run that over top of it. But you absolutely, please promise me, make this promise to me right now. You will not. Because if you do that, if you do that, um, you run the risk of scratching off the foil. Okay? We don't want to do that. Okay? So let's go ahead and... Now. It's not going to look like much now. Right? It's not going to... It's not a, not a big showstopper right now. <laughs> it's not something to write home about yet, but let me show you here. Oh, my goodness. When that light hits it, there we go. Look at how beautiful that is. Um, oh, looks like only one full year left. One full year left. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I promise you will not regret you will not regret getting that full year. I promise you that. All right, so let's go ahead and sign this. Didn't he start following my... Simon and I talked for like an hour on the phone tonight. He's got big, big, exciting things coming, and I'm so proud of him and super, super excited. So, so excited. Okay, let's see here. So... He is, isn't he? He is just, he's so, so, so talented. Uh, no, he was, when I was talking to him earlier, he was he was going somewhere. He had something to do tonight. I can't remember what, but he was, he had to do something. All right. So someone, oh, I forgot. Someone told me that I should start dating these, which I agree. Okay, there we go. We're hoping he can. Um, we're hoping he can come and do some, some cool stuff at Brutus Monroe. Okay, so there is what that uh, turned out to be. And then, of course, you could add like a little sentiment down here in the corner if you would want, if you would like. Uh, but I just love this little, like you know, just a little added oomph when you open up the card. You know, if you're not putting a sentiment in there, I think it's so cool. True seal, true. He's. He, I mean, I think he might have. How, when do you get your? When does your Cinderella license go away? Eighteen? I don't know. It is. Wow, well, it's eleven. A little late. So that is what that uh, really fun, super. I mean, super easy, super fun card. I thought it was. I thought it was cool. Peace, peace, peace. Um, yeah, super fun. I forgot that we cut this one out too. I mean, you could. I mean, you could do so much with these dies. I mean, you really can. Um, you know, you can add stuff to them. Uh, the rainbow die is, has been exceptionally uh, one of my favorites as well. But this is one that we did with a foil. Remember, we um, can still do something with that. So, so much you can do with it. So much. Um, Amy, this card is going into an order uh, of someone that has placed an order today. So from now until uh, tomorrow morning, if you place an order, this uh, will go into that uh, into the order. That is what I do every single night that I make a card now, and I think it's super, super fun. Perfect. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. This is every uh, – I come and hang out with you every night. Um, 
as, as many nights as I can tomorrow. I'm really excited because we have lots of fun stuff to talk about and discuss. Thank you to everyone that hung out with me tonight. I appreciate you so very, very, very much. Remember to create something every single day, whether that is a groovy card or your own ending. I appreciate you more than you will ever, ever know. I thank you so much for your support, for all of your love, uh, and for being, of course, again, a part of my life. I appreciate you so very much and um, love you too, Seal. And I will see you all very, very soon. Remember to create your own ending, my friends. Be good to one another. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good night.